We all love Power Query, it's such a useful tool, but we sometimes get limited that we can't edit in regular Excel when we're in Power Query. But there are two tricks, two ways that you can actually do it, as you're seeing me do it right here. Here I am in Power Query, where I can, for example, filter, and then here I am in Excel, where I can also filter. So you can actually work on these two at the same time, and I'm going to show you how to do that in these two ways. My name is David ben and I have tons of videos on Excel, PowerPoint, Google Sheets, Power BI, Teams, Zoom. If you're using tech of the workplace, then I'm covering it on my channel. And I do weekly videos, so subscribe if you want to see more of those. So here I am in Excel, and I'm just going to open up another Excel file. So I'm going to go File, and then let's try this one. So I have another workbook with some data that I am just typing in like this. And then if I look at how this is made up. I can open up the task manager, control shift escape does that, opens up this directly, faster than control delete actually. And I can see I have Excel only once here. And there are two workbooks under that one because I can have multiple workbooks under the same instance of Excel, but that stops me from being able to use Power Query and Excel at the same time. So as you may have known already, um, if I minimize this one and then launch Power Query, get data from table or range. Suddenly, if I'm back in my other Excel workbook, or even if I navigate to this one, I cannot edit anything here. So this is the regular Excel behavior when you use Power Query with one instance of Excel. However, the trick to doing this, or at least one of them, is to do it with a second instance of Excel. Now, in order to do that, you need to go to your Excel, right-click, on this and then right click on there and choose run as administrator. Press yes. And then it will open up a second instance of Excel. This shows it is a second instance because it says that my personal macro workbook is locked for editing. So I'm going to say read only and then I can open up another file like this. So now I have files open and if I press Control Shift Escape, you can see that Excel shows up twice because that is a second instance of Excel. Now, some reports say that you can hold down Alt and click, right click, and then Alt in here, and that will open up a second instance. But for me, that hasn't worked. I think it's because Windows and Excel has updated since then. But if you run as administrator, then that should work pretty well. Now, once I have this running as administrator, and both are separate instances of Excel, I can actually edit one whilst I'm in Power Query and the other one. So let me just uh, put them side by side so we can see. This is a great trick if you drag the top of your window like that to the edge, then you get it appearing in half your screen. And you can choose the other one to appear in the other half of the screen. Or if you want to go even faster, the shortcut that I use is Windows key and then left arrow or Windows key and right arrow. So those two shortcuts are really great for this. So in this one, I'm going to go to data and get data from table or range. So here I've got the Power Query window. I can do the same thing like that there. And here I am not limited from entering data. So it does actually work. So two questions. Firstly, can I open up Excel's Power Query in both? Yes, you absolutely can can get data from table or range. My table is headers. And then I can edit up Power Query on each side with no issues. Remove top two rows here. And then I can, in the meantime, I can click here and I can maybe filter for games. So you can do multiple actions at the same time if you have separate instances of Excel open. So I'm going to keep those changes. I'm going to load a new worksheet like that here. Now, here's what doesn't work well, though. So let's say that I want to open up this second workbook in the other instance of Excel. So I'm going to do exactly what I did here, but this one is going to be the same workbook in both. So uh, it doesn't work this method, but I will show you a way that actually does work. So in this second one, I'm going to go it's called open in both. So I'm going to go file and then open in both. 
and it gives you this error. So it doesn't actually work. It says, it's open in another application, please close it and try again. Because it is, it's open in another application. So that doesn't work. Even though Excel is now capable of doing co-authoring, it doesn't actually work that way. But this next way will work. My new objective is I want to be able to edit this file at the same time in Excel and in Power Query. Now, the way to do that is when your document is saved on OneDrive or SharePoint, then you're able to do that. If you go to File and then Info, and then you can choose Open File Location. This should open up a web browser with your OneDrive or SharePoint folder. And then I can click on here. And now I am editing it at the same time online and in desktop. So if I use that same shortcut, Windows and right, and here I'm going to go back, Windows and left. So I can see I've got both of them. I can navigate to different screens. It shows me where the other person is. DB David Benheim is me in both instances. So if I write David there, it eventually appears here. If I write something here, it will also appear there. So both of them are editable at the same time. Now, here is the fun part. In Excel desktop, I can go to data and I can edit launch the Power Query editor. Excel Online for the moment doesn't have Power Query, but I'm sure it will soon. So over here I am in the Power Query editor and I can do everything that I normally can do. Whilst meanwhile here I can add new data or add new other things. Now what you might be asking is, well, is it able to update live if I change it here, directly in here, even if I refresh? Um, so let's test that. So here I've got a formula that is, well, let me just rename some of these people. So this is going to be just EVA like that. And I'm going to change this date to be 2002. Notice that if I scroll here, I have the age column which calculates the total years since the date in this column. Now, if, if this is 2002 for Scarlett Johan, therefore it would be about 20 years, but in this cell it is 2020. So if I click Refresh Preview, has that changed everything? Has this changed to just ever? It has not. So it doesn't work. This does auto save when it's online, but it doesn't work that way. So over here, I'm going to close and load, and it's going to show it to me like that. But if I right click and I choose to refresh, then it is going to give me the right ones. And this is now almost 20 years. So that's all well and good. And then in Excel online, you can actually see the changes as well. If I maximize that, uh, you can get to it via catch up and then show changes. And then it will show you everything that's happened and you can click on it to get there. So as you can see, it's saying that I edited this. David Benheim is me in both instances. I edited Eva and that. And here I edited that table. So eventually, this is saying I inserted the sheet. Now I do find is if I open up the file, sometimes I get this. We found a problem with some content if I reopen it later in desktop. Um, so you can press yes here and it will work, but sometimes it removes certain parts here and does the repairs. Um, if I press close, what I actually did here is it unlinked this to a query. The query is still there, but it hasn't done that. And then it does switch off auto save, so you can turn it back on here. Now, if that is something that you're worried about, because you are doing a lot of editing on desktop and online, then just save as, just go to file and then save as, and save your file as something else that's not on the cloud. Um, after you've done the edits. Because for me, it only tends to happen when I close it and reopen it, not when I'm actually in the file. So save as after you've done the simultaneous stuff. Although what I will say is that I tend to use the online version more for viewing and not for editing online. So I can just view the data, go between sheets in the online version. Which means that for me, the save as would work fine. Um, if you are doing heavy editing, just be aware of that though. That's at the time of making this video. So essentially, that is how you can edit Excel whilst editing Power Query at the same time. 
Neither of them are perfect solutions. I would love to be able to do it in the same file without having to do any of this unusual stuff. But this is a workaround that might really, really help you. So I hope you enjoyed that. And if you like this video, then I produce lots more on my channel. And I have stuff on Excel, Power BI, PowerPoint, Google Sheets, Zoom, Teams. If you're using Tech of the Workplace, then I'm covering it on my channel. So subscribe if you want weekly videos. Thanks for watching.